Hi, my name is Justin A.K. Ghost Reader, and today I'm coming to you with a book review, and that's a review of the book uh, Sharing a House with the Never Ending Man by Steve Alpert, uh, 15 Years at Studio Ghibli. Uh, this is published by Stonebridge Press. I got this as an art from NetGalley, and you can actually pick this up uh, in stores now. Uh, so, as I said in my June TPR, TBR, I've never actually watched a Studio Ghibli movie. Uh, but I saw this book, uh, it was brought to my attention by, um, a friend Q, uh, he's known as Professor Q here on, on YouTube, he also has a, a book two channel, so I'll, I'll link it down in the description box below, but, um, uh, he brought it to my attention, and uh, I thought, oh, that'd be really cool, uh, book to read, because I, even though I have never watched a Studio Ghibli movie, um, I have heard about how good their movies are. Uh, and so, um, basically, uh, in this book, uh, Steve Albert was uh, part of the board of directors of Studio Ghibli. Um, he was there for 15 years, and he was brought in um, as a gaijin, or as the, uh, basically a foreigner, to help interface Studio Ghibli with, um, with like, outside uh, companies, like Disney and other companies, to get the movies distributed across the world. So, uh, in this book, he chronicles his time there, his experiences with um, Haya, Hayao um, Mizazaki, I hope I got his name right, and um, there's producer Toshi Suzuki, uh, and other people uh, uh, in, at the company, um, and basically how he goes, he walks through the process of making the movie uh, Princess Mononoke, um, and he goes through the, what the process was like, seeing the animators work, the, the sound and mixing, going through the initial success of that movie in Japan and then how Disney uh, approached him about um, taking that movie and spreading to a wider um, audience. At that time, uh, Miramax was, the, was gonna be handling the movie for Disney. Uh, of course, that is the studio um, that was owned by Harvey uh, Weinstein and they helped distribute that, that uh, movie. Um, and so he talks about that. He talks about being at the uh, awards um, to receive, like receiving awards for Spirit of the Way, which won uh, an Academy Award. And uh, it's a it's a really it's a really good book, a uh, really good look at the studio, how the studio works, how the directors, the producers work, the relationships between all those people, um, the challenges of trying to get um, uh, a, 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 a being a foreigner at a Japanese company, trying to learn how things were done there. Um, how um, the, the different cultural norms, and uh, that actually led to some funny um, and interesting uh, situations in which he had to try to figure things out. Also dealing with companies like Disney uh, and Miramax, where uh, the directors of, of the movies um, in Japan will have very specific things he wanted done, uh, which was at odds with Disney and Miramax, um, because they weren't too sure if American audience could take, um, could take uh, the work from Studio Ghibli just as it is, uh, without a lot of editing. So there's a lot of back and forth about that. I will say that after um, reading this book, that I, would, since I am going to be uh, probably going to go out and uh, see if I can find some place to watch Studio Ghibli movies, that I will definitely be uh, watching the uh, sub version of all these, just because the process uh, that was described for Princess uh, Mononoke, even though I think that um, it got better as time went, went, went on. Um, I would definitely be um, looking at the sub one because translation was actually a huge um, and difficult part of this process, trying to go from the original Japanese meaning, translating that into something that made sense in English while still preserving what it originally meant in, in Japanese and also what the director wanted to get across. Um, but yeah, so this book was a, was a very interesting look at the company, look at his experiences there, being like a foreigner and, and getting used to all the, the, the do's and don'ts of the business. Um, and it's humorous at times. Uh, I like that. Um, and I, I really liked the look um, into uh, the, the company as a whole. So I definitely, this book definitely made me interested uh, in the studio itself, the movies that it produces, the love and care. Uh, that really went into the movies and the, like the director and producer behind Princess Mononoke and um, Spirit of the Way. Uh, they as people are very interesting um, as well. So I definitely will be trying to uh, find a place to watch the Yugi Ghibli movies. Uh, as I said in my TBR, please link your, talk to me about your favorite movies down in the, uh, in the comment section um, because I'll be making a list of movies 
uh, that you guys recommend and then going out to find them. But I give this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Very interesting um, book if you're interested in Studio Ghibli and what it was like to be at the company when they were uh, making these films films that were going to be hits. Um, and so what went into that? So that is the end of this review. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at GhostReads28, on Instagram at Justin the Ghost Reader, and also on uh, Goodreads. The link to that is down in the description box below. So as always, keep reading and Black Lives Matter.